from the futuristic design to surprisingly good fuel efficiency the 2023 Mazda 3 stands tall as a great choice for anyone in the market for a well-balanced hatchback this year but here's the real question is the new Mazda 3 really that good is it better than the Corolla will it be able to I'll do a car as good as the 2023 Toyota Corolla well let's find out so first let's find out which one's better in terms of performance for the 2023 Mazda 3 the specs are a great deal honestly the model offers two engine options to choose from the base engine is a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine producing 191 horsepower this one comes with the front wheel drive trims but also with the carbon addition as well as the premium trims with an all-wheel drive system but the second option is a 2.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder inline engine producing a total of 250 horsepower and this one is offered in the more expensive trims for example the turbo and turbo premium plus trims the 2023 toyota corolla on the other hand also offers options to choose from four starters the corolla has a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine generating 169 horsepower which obviously falls 22 horsepower short of the mazda 3's base engine but wait there's the corolla's hybrid option powertrain as well what about it well that produces just 121 horsepower with the same 2.0 liter as the front wheel drive model found previously in the chr that's even lower than what the standard corolla engine has to offer although the power is delivered differently thanks to the extra torque provided by the hybrid motor the second engine option comes with the gr corolla hot hatch this one is a 1.6 liter three-cylinder turbocharged engine producing 300 horsepower there's no denying that the GR Corolla could easily compete against the Mazda 3 but at the end of the day it sits in a different class to any of the Mazda 3's trim lineup now let's compare the gas mileage for these two after all we need to know which one is kinder to your wallet every week it looks like the Mazda 3 did a good job here but it is no match for the mighty Corolla the fully gas powered 2023 Corolla comes with an EPA rating of about 31 mpg in the city and 40 mpg on the highway the corolla hybrid on the other hand has an impressive fuel economy of about 53 mpg in the city and 52 mpg on the highway so for both the trims it's quite an epa rating the 2023 mazda 3 on the other hand with the base engine earn an epa rating of 28 mpg in the city and 37 mpg on the highway the turbocharged hatchback model with an all-wheel drive system offers a rating of 23 mpg in the city and 31 mpg on the highway all in all the epa ratings for both vehicles are pretty good and we can say that the mazda 3 is a good competition here but at the end of the day the mazda could do better to actually outdo the corolla in terms of fuel economy the next thing we must compare is the interior and cargo space as for the space we think the mazda 3 wins the race as it offers a bit more Passenger space compared to the 2023 Corolla the Mazda 3 sedan offers a passenger volume of about 92.8 cubic feet while the Mazda 3 hatchback offers 92.7 cubic feet of passenger space. That's a lot of space for a compact SUV to offer by the way. Now if we look into the Corolla the space is reduced by a few folds the Corolla sedan offers a total passenger volume of 88.6 cubic feet while the hatchback only offers 84.6 cubic feet of passenger space that's a massive difference between the two now let's talk about the trunk storage in the sedan models of both the mazda 3 and the corolla the corolla holds about 13.1 cubic feet of space while the mazda offers almost the same space as theirs 13.2 cubic feet of trunk space in it but when it comes to the hatchback version the Mazda lacks a bit as it only offers about 20.1 cubic feet while the Corolla has a capacity of 23.0 cubic feet all in. All the Mazda is bigger than the Corolla, so it's safe to say that if you're looking for an SUV with more space then the Mazda 3 is the way to go and while we're at it why not talk about the safety features as well honestly both. Cars have have amazing safety features to show off both the Mazda 3 and the Corolla feature driving assistance.
features in fact the previous models for both lineups earned an IIHS top safety pick plus award which is actually the highest possible IIHS rating but it looks like the 2023 Mazda beats the Corolla when it comes to safety the 2023 Mazda 3 lineup has an improved and advanced driving assistance technology which is in fact better than what the Corolla has to offer its super responsive and it's way too accurate the automatic emergency braking and high Beam headlights are just a part of the safety measures this vehicle can take it. Features updated and improved pedestrian. Detection technology as well as adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Technology all in all the Mazda 3 has it. All and even if we can't put it on the top it still stands right beside the Corolla in terms of safety. All right now, let's compare the prices I mean one could be cheaper than the other and still give the better package to you so it's important to look into that too. Well, talking about prices, the 2023 Mazda 3 has a starting price of 23,715. That's for the base model for the Carbon Edition. The prices rise up to 28,360, five dollars, while the premium will cost you 30,315 dollars. Then come the Turbo and Turbo Premium Plus trims. Now these will cost you 33,615 dollars and 30. $5,165 respectively the price range is pretty good in today's economy but let's talk about the prices of the 2023 Corolla to come to a conclusion so the prices for the 2023 Corolla start at $22,795 as the base model the sedan would cost you that much moving on to the hybrid the sedan and the SE hatchback They'll cost you about $24,000 then comes the SE sedan which has a starting price of $25,235 and the hybrid SE sedan with a starting price of $26,585. The X hatchback falls in at $27,675 while the most expensive trims like the hybrid XLE sedan and the X sedan fall somewhere in the range of $28,000 so it's safe to say that you could get the most expensive 2023 Toyota Corolla at a lesser price compared to the 2023 Mazda 3. But the difference isn't too big so yes once again the Mazda 3 is definitely doing great compared to the Corolla as for the extra bucks we believe it's worth it since the Mazda 3 is most definitely giving a better performance. And while we're on the topic let's not forget to compare the warranty coverage offered by both of the companies for these lineups the fun thing is both the Mazda 3 and the Corolla offer a basic warranty for three years or 36,000 miles in contrast the powertrain warranty is for five years or 60,000 miles so on that front these vehicles stand in the same place so is it actually better than the Corolla honestly there are undoubtedly both great options and the new Mazda 3 is better than the Corolla in some ways such as performance and the interior don't miss out click the video on your screen to see if the mazda 3 is better than the new civic